Hello, in this video we're going to look at the mean and the variance of a truncated Poisson distribution. And so as a reminder, you know, if X is Poisson, uh, parameter positive, domain all, you know, or positive, non-negative integers, here's the, the uh, distribution function for the Poisson. And to, to do a truncated Poisson, it's really it's the probability that X is at you know given little X or probably the X is X given that X is greater than or equal to K plus 1 and so this Poisson can be written like this you know the A given B is A intersect B given B but this up top is just X and then you restrict the domain to k plus 1, k plus 2, etc. And this can be rewritten like this. So the probability mass function is this piece. And this down here, you know, it looks like 1 minus p, which we'll just generically call q, but then it's x less than k. So the k means that less than or equal to k. And so that's exactly what it is. And then we're going to define this, that if when k goes negative, we're just going to let it be 1. I don't think you need to do that for generically the mean and the variance. I think the formula still sort of works out. But it's easier if you go to higher moments to just define it as 1. So we want to know, is it a PDF? So let's sum over all possible values from k plus 1 to infinity. Um, in this distribution, there's this is there's no index, so it comes out of the uh, summation, and we're just summing this uh, probability. And and when you sum from k plus one to infinity, that's the same as saying probability of k greater than or equal to k plus one, which then this can be rewritten as one minus k, you know, x less than k. But this piece is what we're calling Q, QK, Q sub K. And then you divide by the same thing and you get one. So let's look at the mean. So it's expected value and you take the uh, sum, you plug in X times the probability mass function, sum over all possible values. So here's that little piece that we divide by. There's, it's no index so we can bring it out. Then we take x times this, the probability mass function. Well, that x cancels with one of those, leaving x minus 1. But I also take out a lambda. And the, the idea is to get a x minus 1 in both places. So then when we do an index change of y equal x minus 1, then it looks like this. So we're, then we're summing from k to infinity and this is the Poisson distribution and so um, this is the this is the same as saying the probability the x greater than or equal to k but you can take one minus that probably the x is less than or equal to k minus one well this is what we're generically calling q sub k minus one and so this is the mean of a truncated Poisson um, now at the end of the video, we'll look at what's called a zero truncated Poisson distribution, but this is for a generic K. Uh, let's look at the second factorial moment, which is this. And we, and we go basically do the same process. You bring out the QK, and then we're summing from, you plug in the X, X minus 1 times the probability mass function over all those values. Well, these two... Uh, numbers can cancel with two of those leaving x minus 2 factorial and then to kind of get an x minus 2 up here I bring out two you know lambda squared and then um, this with an index change y equal to x minus 2 is rewritten like this where y goes from k minus 1 to infinity and then that's the that's a Poisson so that's the probability of x is greater or equal to k minus 1. But 1 minus that is this. And then this is what we're calling q sub k minus 2. And so this is the second factorial moment. So when we calculate the variance, 
this is uh, the formula is expected value of x squared minus the mean quantity squared but here we're adding a well chosen zero so it doesn't affect the overall uh, formula but this first part right here is the the uh, second factorial moment and the mean we calculated a second ago so we can we know both of those so if we plug in what we know here and then the mean and then the uh, mean squared then that uh, simplifies to this right here and this is the formula for the variance of a K truncated Poisson distribution now in the literature you often see a zero truncated mean and when you plug in the exact uh, you know numbers to these formulas they're just slightly different they're a hundred percent equal but slightly different and that's why I wanted to go over this so we'll, we'll go down this column first so the, uh, the PDF, when you plug it into our formula and then take, there, there'll be an E up here, you take it down, that cancels, you get this. So this is pretty straightforward to see that what we have and what you'll see in the literature is the same. And the mean, um, we, we would get this based on our formulas, but then if you factor out or multiply by one which is e to the lambda to over e to the lambda and multiply it in you get this and then that's usually what's reported as the mean of a zero truncated Poisson and the variance is uh, a little trickier this is what we would get using our formula here so this is one this is you know one minus e to the minus lambda that piece we have lambda then we have lambda squared, and that's 1, that's 1, and this is 1 minus e to the lambda. So a 1 there and that minus 1 cancel, leaving just this, and that's quantity squared. So for here, uh, to show how you get to the zero truncated uh, Poisson mean, this piece comes down, but this piece we add 1. I mean, we add 0. So we let a lambda squared and a minus lambda squared. And we get this, you know, it's the same. But then when you take this piece and add it to this piece, you get this. And then this minus lambda squared over the 1 minus e to the lambda quantity squared is this piece. And this is the variance that's reported in the literature. Well, that's all I have for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like it and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.